Good morning everyone. It is Black Friday for me here and today is going to be a little bit of fun for me. Oh, Branson just got here in the Miata. In case he didn't watch the last video, he's driving my Miata because his GTR motor is dead. But it's Black Friday and Branson and I are going to go to Harbor Freight. He lives 15 minutes away and it took him two hours to get here. But we're going to Harbor Freight. Um, I'm cleaning up the backyard because I'm planning on getting a little. Oh, Deb. I'm planning on getting a little uh, a, a carport thing from Harbor Freight. You'll see what I mean. All right, let's go. got the car tent. Mission accomplished. It was the last one they had. And uh, I got some other stuff. Angle grinder, or a die grinder that is, and uh, air hose, air fittings, and some other stuff. But we did it. Now it's time to get home and set this thing up. All right, I'm almost home. There's a nice 370 up there. And it just started sprinkling. This is my first time with the T-tops off, or at least one of the T-tops off. Um, starting to sprinkle so I hope we make it got Branson behind me in the Miata probably less than five minutes away oh by 370 focus not on point but uh yeah this will be fun all right we made it home time to unbuckle the carport and get it set up all right so this is the loot from Harbor Freight so I've got an airline, a 50 foot hose because I didn't have one and I needed one. I've got some assorted fittings, um, air fittings as well, quick releases, quick disconnects, whatever, because uh, I need some of those. Got a carpenter's triangle square thing. These are the little attachments that you can put into a drill that give you a quarter, or three eighths, and a half inch drive. Got some wire wheels for uh, an upcoming project that I've got going on. A tape measure because there's a dollar sixty nine, even though you can get them for free most of the time. I have some rotary diamond point bits, also going along with the same project as that. And of course, to complete that kit, I got an, a die grinder, and this is fourteen dollars. And I've come from the automotive world where everyone's paying like one hundred and fifty for a snap on, so. I'm really interested to see how all this Harbor Freight stuff's gonna hold up because this is my first time going to Harbor Freight. We got some stuff and also, I got that. I haven't put the top on yet. Got a little ahead of ourselves, but something needs a carport. That was the pull for Harbor Freight. All right, and this is it. We finally got the whole thing built. It is uh, a little bigger than I thought it'd be, which is not a bad thing. Um, don't currently have a car in it. I am using it as part storage for the moment because I can just get some of the stuff out of the carport up front because it's getting a little crowded. But as you can see, it's you know what you would expect out of a carport or a, a car tent, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm probably going to get some gravel and put some gravel down here and make a gravel path going around the house to the front. This will be I want to get the Sylvia in there or maybe bring the Sylvia to the carport and bring the Dawson back here. I'm not too sure yet. But that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Come on, stay inside. Gosh, dang it. No.
No. Back inside. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload videos. And have a great day.